This question is going to be fun. We're looking at the equation y is equal to ln of e to the negative x plus x times e to the negative x. A few things right here we can do to make the questions much easier than it has to be. Okay. Notice that both of these guys they have e to the x, so we can factor the e to the x out. I will rewrite my function. This is going to be ln, but then the e to the x here and the e to the x here. I will factor this out. Let me write it down right here. So e to the negative x, I will multiply this with. I will have a one left, and then I will add the x right here, just like that. And then we can use the ln property because we're talking about ln of one thing times the second. So we can write this as a sum of two ln. The first one will be ln of e to the negative x, close the parentheses, and then you are going to add, because here we are multiplying, it becomes adding, the second ln of one plus x, just like that. This is still my original equation. I didn't do anything but just use the log property. We didn't do anything with the derivative yet. And now to get the derivative, let's put d dx across the equation. I will end up with, let me use y prime for this. Oh, by the way, I don't even need to bother with ln of e to the negative x. What's this? The ln and e to the x cancel each other out. And I'm just looking at this as negative x. What's the derivative of negative x? We are going to get negative 1 for that. Very nice. And then I'm going to add the derivative of ln of 1 plus x. Derivative of, derivative of ln of something. This is going to be 1 over the same thing inside. So let me put this down. Just like that. 1 over 1 plus x. And then you look inside, you should always check to see if the chain rule matters. You always multiply by the chain rule. But then the derivative is the inside. Derivative 1 is 0, derivative x is 1. So technically, you have to multiply by 1, but then it doesn't really matter. And then to get the answer in the back of the book, what we'll do is, this is negative 1 plus 1 over 1 plus x. What we're going to do is, put this as... 1 plus x, and I'll do that on top as well. So multiply the top and bottom by 1 plus x for the first one. And then I'm looking at this as they have the same denominator now. 1 plus x. This part you distribute. Negative 1 times neg negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times x is negative x. And then here you are adding the 1, so plus 1. But of course, this and that cancel each other out. Final answer, negative x over 1 plus x. See, don't you like to do the derivative with ln? So much cooler. <laughs>